Welcome to Flash Tutorial 4, Rotate Objects with Tweens. I'm going to start by opening a new FLA. I'm keeping Action Script 3. And we're going to start by making the stage around 50%. Call this line Cross, C-R-O-S-S, -S, Cross. Right here is something called the Rectangle Tool. If you're seeing an oval, click the little corner here and select Rectangle Tool. This is the stroke, the outside of my rectangle. This is the inside. I'm going to make this one red, red and black. And pick up my Rectangle Tool. Come here and make a relatively long something like that. Pick up the Selection Tool. Highlight this. Modify it convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected and see this little black spot click right in the center there and click OK double click on this and now we're inside this movie clip while it's all fuzzy and highlighted you get those cross hairs right click copy that right click paste it in place Open up the alignment panel right here. If you don't have an alignment panel here, look on the window and click alignment and the panel will open. Go to transform and click rotate and in here put 90 degrees. 90, enter. Now I want to click off to the side and just click the center so I don't have, see if you double click it you get more than one thing. I just want to click the center of this Come over here and let's make this inside of this one blue. So now I have this, this so-called fan thing. Highlight it. You see that little circle in the, that's important. That's that registration point. Uh, click here. Right click. Classic tween. Classic tween. Come up as many frames as you wish. This is going to determine the speed. The further up here, the slower it will turn. So I'm on 45. Insert a keyframe. This should be all bluish purple with an arrow on it. If not, go back. You did something wrong. Right click any. Or excuse me. Click anywhere in here. Open the properties panel. It should say frame. That's the frame we're on. And right here where it says rotate. And if you don't have rotate, click this tweening drop down menu. Click this. Make this clockwise. And if we test that now, control, test movie test, it spins clockwise over and over and over. Back to scene one. Lock this layer, that's the cross. Come down here, insert a layer, call it line, just like a straight line, L-I-N-E. Go over and pick up this rectangle tool again. I'm going to give it a different color for my fill. And I'm going to make a rectangle here. Pick up my selection tool, highlight it, modify it, convert it to a symbol, put in the registration point down here. I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but let's try this. All right, that's that point right there. Uh, double click on it. Now we're inside of this symbol. And I just want to pick up something called the Free Transform tool. If I click on there, on the Free Transform tool, and if I just go to the corner, see if I do that, it's pivoting in the right here. I don't want it to pivot there, I want it to pivot down here. So select that, make my stage a little bit bigger. Select this circle and drag it straight down. Now when I pivot it, see where it pivots down there. So, select this first frame, right click, call it a classic tween, and still pivot in there. So, I gotta pick this up again, bring it down here. So, it's pivoting there on my classic tween. Go up to, we'll make this travel quite fast, frame 20, insert a keyframe. Uh, this is good. Click anywhere in here, open the properties panel. Make sure we've got tweening, and this time I want to go, I'll go, I don't know what the other one's clockwise or not, but there we go. So now I have two things spinning, 
so control test movie test and you can see this is going much faster because it has less frames so let's make this travel real slow click on this drag it way up here now control test movie test and it moves very slow hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn